Mohammad Bashir. Sir, thank you very much, sir. In Rashwadi's speech, first part of the speech, you have made a claim that is, you stood for a Bharat whose diversity is even more vivid and whose unity become even more unshakable. So I am sorry to say that your this statement has nothing to do with truth. It is a tamasha of the first part of the, this year, new year. So India, of course, Indian subcontinent, it is hundreds of uh, languages, 700 different tribes, and with every major religion is having its own root in India. Similarly, some, sir, the largest, some largest cities in the world also is in India. At the same time, even almost remote places where people are not staying, that also is India. That diversity is our beauty. Unfortunately, sir, what you are doing, I am asking you one thing. Sir, 19 pages of the president's speech, I have meticulously gone through that. Sir, I am asking a question. In this president's speech, you have mentioned places, religions, caste, creed, and everything. Unfortunately, sir, this government, they have not even used the word minorities. How cruel you are. Why you have not used that? Not only in this case. In the budget also, sir, the same thing is there. Sir, I am telling you that this government is showing zero tolerance as far as the minorities are concerned. Uh, you are saying that uh, about the heritage of India. I am asking you with all the politeness, do you know the real meaning of heritage? What exactly is the heritage of India? You have to realize that. India, you have to realize, it's a composite culture. You have to realize that. Now, in every case, you can see that what is that you are doing? You are distorting the textbook. You are distorting the freedom struggle movement and that, that kind of things. All these kind of things are going on. Sir, you are always, this government is always taking a double standard. I'll take you two examples. That is from the silver skin. Uh, screen. Number one, one film that is titled Kashmir Files. This film, India government suggested that film to be included in the International Film Festival. The jury of that uh, uh, committee said this is nothing, it's bad. At the same time, he even said that it is for market oriented. He even said that it's a vulgarity. That film, why you encourage well? Prime Minister uh, encouraged it. He was giving a lot of motivation for that because it was spreading Islamophobia. That was the subject. Why you would like it? Now come to the BBC uh, revelation. BBC in that case, what happened? It was discussing the Gujarat rights and things like that. We all know that by even by viewing that uh, uh, BBC documentary, students were arrested, sir. They are still in the jail. We have to understand that this kind of double standard, we have to be very careful about that. Then what happened? In this uh, Gujarat issue also, you can understand very well, understand that the uh, funny thing of it. See, two uh, eminent leaders, uh, Tista Selwat and R.B. Kumar. R.B. Kumar is a senior police, he was a senior police officer, and Tista was really, thief. she is a humanist, and she is working hard for the human life kind of things. But what happened? That is one thing. There, what you have done, they were in the jail. Those who criticized the Gujarat government, they were put in behind the bar. But at the same time, what happened in the case of Bilkis Banu? Bilkis Banu's case, the culp real culprits, they were released from the jail. That's why I'm saying that you are taking this kind of kind of standard. Uh, rape and all of the cruelty was done against Bilkis Banu. The court was ordered, finally, without any justification, you have allowed the culprits to go from the jail. This is, that is what I am saying, that you are taking different stand. Sir, President, speech, you are saying, today, the, uh, one, in one hand, Ayodhya Dham is being constructed in the country, while, on the other hand, the modern parliament houses are so built. Sir, I am asking you, what exactly you, you are doing? I'm not saying about Ayodhya, Dhamma, or uh, anything like that. But I'm asking you one thing. What is that? 1991, sir. In this August house, passed a legislation that is 
uh, worship places in India after of the act. Act was called like that. That the, what was the purpose of the act? That act says that uh, status of the worship places as on 15th August, independently, whatever may be the status, it will not be changed. That will remain as it is. That was the purpose of that registration. Now what is happening? You are even undermining that legislation. What was the purpose of making that? It was done during UPA period to, uh, with the vision that tomorrow nobody should uh, raise any kind of objection or right for a particular worship prices. Now you want to spoil that. You are opening the front gates of rebellion that. I am sorry to say that you are making a lot of uh, dispute and crimes in this country. So with regard to the minorities, I am asking you, why should you hate us? We are born in this place. We have to live in this place. And we have to die in this place. Why should you show this much of enmity? You have to think, think see, aggressors. You call them aggressors. You call them anti-national. Many, many innocent people are put into jail. I may kindly be given, sir. Um, and extremists. You call them extremists. You have you, already extended the I, 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 One minute, sir. I, I'm grateful to you. You are always uh, sympathetic. Give a sympathetic consideration, sir. Take one more minute. Ca they, they call, you call us cows, slaughters. Lao jihadis, Lao jihadis, illegal occupants of government land. You are using bulldozer and to remove them. That kind of mass killing is going on. Your government's political uh, laboratory is working on preparing hate speeches. Hate speeches are spreading the country, sir. Similarly, you are making law for what? For creating troubles only. In different states, different legislations are made. That is only to disturb the harmonious relation in this country. So I would like to say, in the end, sir, towards the end, I would like to say, why should you tarnish Muslim community? A community which give, have given tremendous contribution in the freedom struggle, in the national build up programs, in developing the culture of this land. All this sector, you can see the tremendous shining cooperation and contribution of the Muslim community. Why should you hate them? What is the logic in your kind of things? Sir, minority, what you are doing is Thank you. injustice. Only. I am going to control, sir, within one, uh, one, uh, two minutes. No, no. Are you, no, yes, sir, are just, you bringing... Just are you bringing, in one line. Yes, sir. Are you making India a minority Mukta India? I think that is your dream. I am now, telling you that. I, call, I am telling, sir, I am concluding. I am Mr. telling you. Keep in mind, keep in mind, you must realize one thing. India is not the inherited property of anybody. It is India. It is in Indians. Don't make it that kind of consideration. Thank you. I request, sir. <coughs> Mr. Arif. Over, over, sir. Over, Mr. Over. Arif. Because uh, over. I am concluding my speech by please, saying please. one thing. Sir, Nobel Prize, Nobel Prize winner in 2014, Sri Kaila Satyarthi said, I quote, India may be a land of our hundred problems, but it is also a place for billion solution. I request you to Thank you. think about this kind of Thank thing you. and do justice and desist from this kind Mr. of Arif. cruel attitude against the minorities. <laughs> Thank you, sir.